Hello Year 7, this is the first lesson of the Pencil Topper project where you're going to learn how to use computer aided design. By the end of this lesson you'll understand how to set up, work on and save your own CAD file and be able to load Inventor and start your CAD work. Let's get started. On your desktop you should find an icon that says Autodesk Inventor Professional. Double click on this and then leave it. It'll take a little while to load, it is a big program don't click it too many times or you will freeze your computer. So just need to be a little bit patient while it loads. Now you may have an option to start working or start learning. If this um, appears in the middle of the screen, just click start working. Now the first thing you need to do when you start working in Inventor is to go and start a new part. So if you click on new up in the corner and we want a standard millimeter inventor part. This is a part where all of the sizes are going to be in millimeters. Then you go down to the button down here that says create. And again, if it's doing something, inventor will say it's loading down the bottom. If it takes a while, just leave it, let it get on. Now, as you can see, it does take a little while, so please don't worry. If it uh, takes this long, just wait. Okay, here we go then. When you first load a new part, you'll end up with a blank space like this in the center of your screen. What we need to do in order to create our parts that we need is to start a new sketch using this tool up in the top left corner. As soon as you click this, you'll be given these three boxes. These are different planes. These means we can create our drawing on a different surface depending on which one we want. To start off with though, we're going to use this one, the YZ plane. So just make sure that one's highlighted and left click it with your mouse. It should bring up this cross in the middle of the page. We can now start to draw on this surface. To create our pencil topper, we need to create a rectangle. We're gonna select the dot right in the middle where it goes green and drag and create a rectangle. We can now change the size using the dimension tool. If you click on a line, drag up and click, you then have the option to change the size. For this one, I would like you to change the size to 45 millimeters. And you can then click the little tick. If it goes bigger than this, use the scroll wheel on your mouse to zoom out. I'm now then gonna click on the vertical upright line, drag and click, and I'm gonna change this size to 25 millimeters. Then click the tick again. This is going to be the maximum size that we want your pencil topper to be. The last thing you need to do for this lesson is to add your initials into this box at the right size. Click the text tool and then you can click anywhere inside your rectangle. Now type in your initials. So for me it's WT. Select them. Let's make them nice and bold. And I'm gonna change this size from 3.5 millimeters to 25. Click OK. Now, if this is around the wrong way, don't panic. We can turn it around. First of all, to get out of any mode, so if you're in text mode, for instance, right click with your mouse and click OK to clear it. Now, you can click on the text and the rotate tool. Now with this one, the first thing you need to do is select what you need to rotate. I've already selected my text. The center point is the area which you can spin the whole thing around by. So I'm gonna click the center point and then the corner. And I can drag it around, changing the angle until I've got it nice and flat. 
then you click done then you can just drag the text to make sure that it is the same height as that box it doesn't matter if your initials extend past that box as long as they are the same height so they should be 25 millimeters high at this stage you can then finish the sketch and we can start to save your work in order to do this we're going to go to file and save i would like you to create a new folder called technology inside that folder save this as your name once you've created your technology folder created your file name as your name in fact let's call it your name pencil topper just so you know what it is you can then click save this is all you need to do for this lesson as soon as you've done that you can either if you've finished early ask your teacher for the next stage or save your work and log off